Okay, in this video, we're going to take a brief look at combinations. So combinations is basically how could you uh, put all these things together? Okay, it's uh, not safety locks, that's permutations. Okay, it's just not to mistake the two. Um, so what I have here is I have my new bistro that I've uh, created. Um, this is the restaurant I'm going to build. And over here, I have my starters in my restaurant. I have my mains and then I have my desserts. And what I want to know is, I'm trying to prep the day, I'm a chef, and I'm trying to work out what's all the possible meals that someone could come in and order. You know, trying to get myself organized. And I'm thinking, okay, well, everyone's gonna have a starter main dessert, let's just say that they are. How many choices do they have? So you could go in, you could order wings and a burger and ice cream. Or you could go in, you could order wings, a burger and toffee. Or you could go in, you could order wings, pizza and ice cream, wings, pizza, toffee, you keep going. You're, or you might forget wings, you don't like wings, you're going to go for the goat's cheese, that's goat's cheese option of that. Goat's cheese, and you're like, goat's cheese, I'm going to have fish, and I'm going to have a toffee. Okay, so we simply get to, like if I try to list them, and I'll just use the first letter, so I'll say WBI for my first one, and then WBT if I was to have toffee instead, and then WPI for wings, pizza, ice cream, and then WPT for wings, pizza, toffee. Oh, WFI, WFT, like you can see the list goes on. I'm not even beginning to get WF yet, that's the fish. WSIWST. Now, what you might notice at this point is, I've done the wings with the burgers, and the desserts, then the wings with the pizza and the desserts, wings with the fish and desserts, wings with the salad and desserts. Whew, okay. And already I have eight options, right? Now, phew, that's, that's a lot and I've only just done wings. So if I do soup, then we soup, burger, these two, soup, pizza, these two, you actually might realize that there is eight options for soup and there's eight options for cheese if you went that way, okay? So what would that give us in total? 8, 16, 24 options. Okay, so let's just have a look. If I take the wings first and then do my whole thing, I manage to get eight. Hopefully we can see if I do the soup and do burger and ice cream and toffee, I'm just gonna end up doing the same list, except instead of wings at the start, we'll have soup. So there'll be eight for soups, okay? And then if I do it again, eight for cheese. So in total, that gives me eight, 16, 24 options that I could choose from when I go into this restaurant. Okay, that's a bit time consuming. And what happens when we get bigger choices? What happens if I had nine starters and 20 mains and 10 desserts? You're not gonna write them out, that's crazy. But let's see if we can find a shortcut. How many choices do we have for starter? Well, we have three choices. And how many choices for main? We have four choices. And for dessert, we have two. And if we take a look at three, four, and two, can we see how they would make 24? You might see it. Three multiplied by four multiplied by two gives us 24. And this is a shortcut with combinations. So all you're doing is you're saying, well, I've got three choices here, four choices here, two choices here, and I just times them together. And that will actually give you the number of options each time. So let's take this restaurant and just expand it a bit make it a little bit harder. Um, if you were to go in and I was to add in a few more things to this menu. So you're also gonna get ribs can be a, a main as well. I'm just thinking now about breakfast material. I don't know, you know what? We're gonna have cereal here, because why not? Because it's breakfast. And uh, desserts, you know what? There's so many desserts. You can have an eat, eaten mess. Uh, you could have pudding, uh, you could have lemon drizzle. Okay, now our menu is a lot bigger. So let's try and work out with the same logic how many options, how many choices, how many combinations are possible. How many choices do we have for starter? Well, we have four. How many choices do we have for main? We have five. And for our desserts, we have five. How do we calculate that up? We say four by five by five. Four by five, or sorry, five by five is 25, 25 by four. There is a hundred combinations or a hundred choices 
or 100 options. Okay, that's it for combinations for the most part, just the straightforward ones. Um, just to see how it can link to probability, I might say a, a person comes in and they order, uh, what's, the, what's the probability that someone will walk in, order wings, pizza, and eat and mess? Way. The probability of wings, pizza, and eat and mess. And I say, well, wings, pizza, and eat and mess, that's only one, you're picking those three. So that's one option out of how many options? A hundred. So if someone was to come into your restaurant and order, and you're trying to guess the next person that walks in, I bet you they order wings, pizza, and eat a mess, you've got a one in a hundred chance of being right. Okay, that's how they link in probability with uh, combinations. But that's it for combinations.